we meet again. They're coming, ready or not, they're gonna be here. This feels monumental. I hope their flights make it okay. So I was not going to pregnancy tests. I can get very emotional talking about this. I'm stalling, okay. Good morning, my friends. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. I hope you all are doing super, super duper well. It is anything but warm and cozy right now. It's actually very cold in here. We got completely dumped on <laughs> by snow the last couple of days. I think we ended up getting like 12 to 14 inches, which is amazing. I thought I wouldn't be very excited about the snow at this point in January, but with snow like that, and we didn't have any during Christmas or anything, this was kind of fun. <laughs> Especially since we don't have to plow our own driveway. My heart goes out to people who have to plow their own driveways. Although this is the first year that we had a car to think about to dig ourselves out of. We only have one garage spot at this apartment and we chose to put June in there since we're not driving her as often and she can get like tucked away in there. But that leaves one car to be out in the snow. And if I were choosing between June and our Subaru to be out in the snow it was gonna be the Subaru but <laughs> having to dig that out I can't talk to it Jack is the one that dug out the Subaru but the amount of snow on that car and behind the car to like dig out and all of that it just that looked like a task also I do apologize I haven't looked in the mirror today at all I put my hair up after I got out of bed and that's about it but what brings us together today is that my friends are coming to visit us tomorrow. These are like some of my very best friends from college. We were friends basically from the start during freshman year, and then we roomed together or near each other if we could every year since. And then last year, we all tried to get together. There's like five or six or seven of us or so that usually like to see each other once a year. And the last time that we saw each other was a couple years back we all went down to kentucky i went to college in kentucky and we all went down there because one of our friends was pregnant and we threw her a baby shower and that was like so iconic it was so good and then we really haven't seen each other like all together since we've been able to see each other like individually here and there so last year we tried to plan a group thing but between one of us now having a toddler at this point which is wild to say i cannot believe that that baby is a toddler that's so crazy another one who has treatment cycles just ruling her life and her schedule and then a bunch of different things in between we didn't get to see each other last year we didn't get to like all get together but then on Christmas Jack let me know that he got a FaceTime call for me and I was like a FaceTime call for me like why are you taking my FaceTime calls for me but it was two of my best friends so they surprised me by just saying that they're coming ready or not they're gonna be here and I think that that is just the sweetest thing ever. I could get very emotional talking about this, but I think they know that I just really needed to see them and I think they know that we just needed to be together, especially last year. And so for them to just like bite the bullet and be like, no, we're just gonna come and we're gonna do whatever we want. We, we can watch movies, we can drink wine, like whatever we wanna do, we're just coming to see each other. I think that that is just the sweetest sentiment ever and I love them so much. But with them coming tomorrow, that brings us to today. Day, I have just a mini list of things that I want to do. We cleaned the house like usual on Sunday and stuff like that and we got stuff for dinner tomorrow. Well, we're gonna cook them a homemade red sauce tomorrow. Well, Jack is going to cook them a homemade red sauce tomorrow. But even though all of our sheets are technically clean and put away, I just want to clean them again. I feel like if anyone has cats out there, they might understand. Or just like if the sheets have been sitting there for a while regardless, I want them to be fresh. I want them to be fresh and clean for them. So I'm gonna take all and any sheets, pillowcases, blankets that I know that will offer them and wash them today. I do have a bunch of work to get done today. So before I dive into all of my work and computer work and all of that stuff, I figure let's get the wash going.
been in a computer hole for a couple hours now and I forgot about the laundry. So that should be done to switch. Let's go ahead and put some blankets in. feel like a foreign person in this car right now, I'm not gonna lie. It just doesn't feel like my car, you know? I texted the girlies questions that I said they don't have a choice, they must answer me because otherwise they'll be like, no, anything you want, whatever is my best and most convenient for you. I know them. But I texted Vanessa asking one, what her preferred allergy medication is because she is allergic to the cats no matter how much she like forgets or thinks she's gonna be fine, she always is like red-eyed and puffy when she comes to our house. And she said that she actually doesn't usually take allergy medicine, so whatever we have already is fine, which I will take that answer. And I double checked and we have Claritin, which always worked for her in the past. So we are good with that. And then Vanessa is gonna be in around like 12 p.m. tomorrow, so she's probably gonna be starving for lunch. And we could go somewhere and do something, but we also could come back to the apartment and have like a cozy little wintry lunch. But I asked her if she had a preference on that and I suggested things that I know that she already loves, like tacos or grilled cheese, and she opted for grilled cheese, so I'm gonna get some stuff while I'm out for that. And then, I forget if I said this, but tomorrow night, Jack is going to make us like a homemade red sauce, and I asked her what she might want to drink with that if we're sipping on some Beverginos while we catch up. And I thought I already knew what she was gonna say because I don't think she's a big wine drinker, but she threw out that she would drink anything that Chrissy and I were drinking with the red sauce, but I also know that she likes lighter beers and she threw out a couple that she might like. So we've got that stuff and then Chrissy wants to drink red which I am so for. I will drink red with red sauce any day of the week. And then what else did I ask Chris? Oh I asked her if she was allergic to cats because I couldn't remember and she said no so we should be fine on the allergy medication there. But what started this Aaron's run, the catalyst for it, was Jack had a great idea that since, well Chrissy's coming from Chicago but Vanessa's coming from Austin, Texas and since Vanessa is not used to the cold and she doesn't do well in the cold at all. He thought it'd be fun for like a little welcoming gift to get them the same like hoodie, like Sherpa coat thing that I got for Christmas that Santa left outside of my door for Christmas. And although the thought was super, super sweet, I know that airlines are getting like super strict on their carry-on luggage and like what we pay for and what we don't. And I know Vanessa specifically and most likely Chrissy as well, depending on the airlines that they are flying, will probably be stuffing everything and anything they can into their carry-ons and a big fluffy Sherpa thing will definitely throw a wrench in that plan heading back on Sunday. But I loved the sentiment so much that I would love to go up to LL Bean's headquarters in Freeport. It's only like 20 minutes from here and get them bean boot socks because those are just like a freaking staple. So some nice cozy socks to wear while they're here. And also, is it on this keychain? No, we need one. We need to get one for ourselves, you guys. On the mini keychain, we had a bean boot keychain from LL Bean and like the amount of compliments or just like people loving that keychain when we're out. We just get that so much and we give a bean boot keychain to any of our friends that visit us or for like Christmas presents and stuff like that. So we thought those cozy yellow bean boot cabin socks and a keychain to take home with them would be a fun little welcome gift. Anyway, I digress. Let's go to the LL Bean headquarters on a random Wednesday, shall we?
snowing and I did not expect snow. I hope their flights make it okay. We are getting clobbered recently, but not a bad location to get stuck in some snow right now. Bobby's not looking too bad in the snow, you guys. What model. <laughs> this feels monumental, like we are officially welcoming our Subaru into the family. Look at that. Welcome to the fam. Hi, Matthew. Hi there. Could I please do a small iced coffee with two caramel swirl and one milk? Hello. Hi. There we go. Thank you. Thank you. Have a good day. You too. That is so good. We meet again. <laughs> so I was not going to pregnancy test at this point in my cycle or at this point before our second embryo transfer at all. I was kind of just not into it and I was more so into just seeing if my period ever came. At this point, I don't know where this is going in the series of things related to our second transfer, like when we're releasing footage of certain things, but I was on the phone with my clinic and this was new. They didn't have me do this the first time, but as we're prepping and getting ready for our transfer cycle and getting me scheduled and you know, in their system and all of that fun stuff, they asked me to go ahead and take a pregnancy test. This was like a couple days ago though, and I completely forgot got but I knew there was like no way in heck at this point that I could be pregnant just like based on a bunch of just factual things but I just remembered today when I opened the cupboard and there were pregnancy tests in there I was like oh I'm supposed to take one of these I don't know why but I'm supposed to take one I don't know why they want me to do that so I just thought you know for science why the heck not and I cannot get out of my head those stories and even more stories ever since I released the vlog recently of people finding out or knowing of people finding out that they were pregnant before they go in for an IUI cycle or they go in for an IVF cycle and I'm like I want that to be me so bad. I won't be super disappointed if this doesn't say anything because one I'm used to no two lines ever besides ovulation tests and there's just no way there's just no way but I also have in the back of my head of all of those women being like there's absolutely no way there's a less than one percent chance like all of those women that also were like there's absolutely no way and then they were pregnant so I dipped this definitely like more than five minutes ago I wanted to go ahead and get a latte this is so fire by the way this tastes like an actual latte from a coffee shop I'm stalling, okay. I dipped this and then for other science, I dipped an ovulation test because I feel like I'm starting to feel some pressure on one side and that would make more sense. <laughs> the pressure and the ovulation would make more sense. So I'm just curious as to like how much LH or I think it's LH, right? How much of that hormone is going to be detected on that test. So if we don't have two lines on this one, at least I'll get to see some sort of faint line on the other one. <laughs> Seeing pink on this is just wild. Yeah, absolutely not. This is like the darkest con 
control line I've ever seen in my entire life. Like I've dipped so many of these and I've never seen such a stark negative in my life and such a strong control line in my entire life. Look at that thing. It's like just in case you try to read into this, you are absolutely not pregnant. <laughs> okay, you still looking at it? Cause I'm crazy. There's absolutely no way. Okay, let's see what this one says. Ooh, hello ma'am. Okay, look at this one you guys. Oh, one day I'm gonna have that second line on a pink one and not a blue one, but for now, that's nice. Oh, <laughs> the feminine urge to just test my ovulation even though it makes 0% difference because the next cycle that we're doing Doing at this point is IVF so there's like no reason to be tracking ovulation at all but still but still thanks for hanging out with me while I did that I didn't want to do it alone <laughs>